Hey man, what's going on? What's, what's going on? on? This the Milk No Shake Podcast. That's right. I got my dog up in here, man. This this man called me. I call him anytime we going through some shit, man. We we lean on one another, man. For real. This my guy. Been knowing him since high school. Always been a positive guy. Always been a positive guy. I ain't let shit uh, <laughs> knock him off his square no matter what he been going through. My guy, man, T. Dot Tim, relative Tim. What's up, my man? Team? What's going on? It's good to be here, man. Appreciate it. Milk, no shake. Milk, man. no shake, man. That's what I'm talking about, hey. man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I, I, we, when I first started up this shit, when I was talking about it, I called you because I wanted you to co-host this young with me. But um, like we were just saying, I know that you're going to be on the road doing your thing, yeah. so it's going to be hard to get you in and out, but yeah like we just said i'm gonna try to schedule everything on yeah. your schedule you know what i'm saying because you that guy but anyway t dot what's up with it, man? let these folks know a little something about you what you got going on and shit man, man. my name is t dot aka tim relifer man definitely from walker homes south memphis bound but i got a little things going on in my life man actually you know um big things going on man big oh, things man we sell <laughs> we celebrating the small wins too man as big wins yeah, like big yeah. Shit going uh, yeah. On. you know you know a lot of people been talking about that though stop saying you know i got my little business and got and i, and I just said the shit. i be doing this shit yeah, too, though. And, and they be like stop saying that shit. but let's start it you know so i got some big things going on it's right. like this though a nigga try to i don't know to say humble or what but you don't want to be kicking it off like you know it's big shit. You know you gonna make it some right. Other, but the next motherfucker probably be like, "What you mean, big nigga?" But nigga don't give a fuck about it. But I get why you saying it. I, right, I, I right. Because it, right. it was a guy who said, "Man, man, stop saying it, man. You know you got some big stuff going on." And I, you know, like you said, just try to be humble enough. But anyway, so this yeah, some big stuff yeah, I yeah, got going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. Got some things going on in my life. I got a nice career. I'm hauling gas. I got my CDL license. Um, of course, um, I'm doing some great things with the health industry. Uh, I definitely sell CMOS, so I'm helping a lot of people out with CMOS. So, so far, so good. Everything coming up. And, you know, it takes some time to get where you need to be at, though, for sure, man, because it's, it's tough out here. Oh, yeah. We're going to get to that, too, because I want to be educated on that CMOS. I know oh, I've, yeah. I've always heard something about it. I know Mike Mike was talking about it at one point. And oh, yeah, me you and Mike came, Mike, yeah, you me and Mike, Mike was talking about it a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he yeah. doing his thing. I don't, is he still, you know, doing it? I don't know. He ain't talked about it in a while. Okay, though. cool. So, yeah, but I know you've been on the scene with it. You like the go-to guy, for real. Yeah, with the man. Shit. So, yeah, man, we going to get to that because, like I said, I want to be educated on that. And matter of fact, I need to get some of that. For sure. Uh, T-Dot, you told us a little bit about yourself. You know, we came up, both of us, Walker Home, Mitchell High School. That's pretty much where we met at. Yeah. Um, coming up, playing basketball in the gym and all that shit. Yeah. Um, coming up, brothers and sisters. Well, you know, on my daddy's side, it's 13 of us. On my mom's <laughs> side. <laughs> go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Go so, ahead. you know what I'm saying? My pops, man, rest in peace, pop, man. He was out here getting it in. And on my mom's side, it's uh, four of us. I'm the baby on both sides. For real? So, yeah, man. So, A big family, bro. We, we just been, you know, I got some good family members. And my, I'm close to my cousins, um, Quinn and Justin, man. Yeah. Uh, IQ Productions, Sticks Miss Productions. Them guys been pretty doing good in their lives, too. So, we've been tight, too. So, man. Family is crazy. Actually, they came, you know, from the country and all this stuff. So I got some country, then I got the little city, then I go to my kind of walk of homes, meet y'all guys, and shoot, man, I got a mix of everything. It's like, man, that man too got doggone cool. I'm like, I'm mixed with country, city, and you know what I'm saying, everything. So shoot, yeah, T-Dot, man. T-Dot, you saying that, bro? I'm still stuck on that number thirteen, bro. Yeah, dude, man, in and out. Golly, yeah, then you said was, you, it's four on your mama's side. Yeah, yeah, And you yeah. the baby. Yeah. That's a, that's, I mean, big family fuck, but you know. Uh, See, there's some brothers and sisters on my daddy's side, man. I never seen him. I got brothers and sisters done passed and got killed. All this stuff when I was young. Cause I got nieces and nephews 40 and 50 years old. Damn. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because I sure was going to ask, uh, like, where y'all, are y'all, like, 
tight. No. Okay. Nah, we ain't tight like that. I'm, I'm, it's like a few of us, and it's a lot of egos, you know what I'm saying? Be, before I came on the scene, I heard a lot of egos, everybody trying to, you know, be there, be there. But I'm, I was the peacemaker, and I had to, you know, let that go of, you know, the family hurt thing, what's going on. So people can't let their pride down and just be on chill mode. Yeah. It's a lot of animosity. People just too much, be doing too much in the families and stuff like that. So I just... Finally had to let that go because it was like, man, you can't save everybody in the family, whatever, man. You can't try to bring folks to be still having animosity. The only time people on on their side, when somebody passed, they coming. They going to come, but we're doing, man, we don't talk to each other like that. Nobody ain't checking up. I'm actually like you, my brother, my partner, Jared, Jonathan, and Quinn, and the rest of the guys that I'm kind of cool with y'all really my brothers like that because y'all do call and check up you know it don't have to be your actual you know what i'm saying blood members you know you know to blood family members to even get their type of phone calls because we need that all day yeah that's that's similar um well i have four or five brothers and sisters on my my dad's side we ain't close, close like that, but we do check in. You know what I'm saying? We yeah, check in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, man, love you, bro. Love you. We, we, we then we c communicate a lot on social media too. You know what I'm saying? But man, you know, I wish, I wish family could just be tight at all times like it's supposed to be. But unfortunately, you know, that ain't the case all the yeah, time. Yeah, we can't stay in. A, like I noticed that a lot of. Some parents, uh, some families, everybody stay in the same house and build up. I heard, you know, um, the Hispanic people do that. I heard a couple of family, you know, yeah. cultures do that. But I'm like, we ain't finna do it. It's just too man. I want my own. Right. But if we did do that and let our pride down, I think we'll be so far ahead of nah, our lives so and far. stuff like that. Because I promise you, man, like. Ain't nothing like having your own, but then you think about it, you have a whole team. Mm -hmm. and then you everybody splitting the bills and working together, man. You you shoot, what my, what my bill this month? Everybody staying in the house. Shoot, man, I ain't gotta pay nothing about five hundred. Your folks, your folks really be doing it. The man, they they be coming up off that shit too. Yeah. They be coming up off that shit, bro. Like. Man, being all in one house, man, to build what the damn rent or the mortgage or some shit, probably what eight hundred or, man, everybody in the house got a job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. One person check can pay all this shit, but it's man, it's ten of they ass. So, man, I already know they be stacking like hell. But that that whole concept in, you know, and now in the black community, you know what I'm saying? Well, from where we from anyway, um, all over the world, really. Um, Man, I don't know. We just we not we not like that, bro. I don't know what the fuck, but um, yeah, but um, T Doc coming up, brothers and sisters. You said that okay. Um, yeah. Elementary, like just coming. Well, okay. Matter of fact, did we even get you from Memphis, right? Definitely. Born and raised. Yep. What part of the town you came up in? Right here, New Horn Lake. For real, you was over there the whole time. The whole time. God damn. Okay. Sitting over there the whole time. Then I went to Four Road. Yeah. Mitchell Middle. Then high school. You went to Four Road? Four Road Elementary. No Levi, no Weaver. None of that. Hold on. So you you came out in, in, in high school, you came out what year? 04. I came out in 01. You don't remember seeing me at Four Road? No. Because no. I went to Four Road. No, I see. Yeah. I mean I saw you in, I saw you. When I came over there, I think it, it, when I went to middle school, when it comes to Tamika, yeah. it's my cousin Tamika yeah. and stuff, that's how. Damn, yeah, Tamika, yeah, like, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's how they joined when I man, met y'all guys, man. Yeah, okay. Damn, I totally. Okay, so Justin, that's they sister. Yeah. I went here, bro. I'm just thinking about them too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I forget. So they, yeah, I used to mess with uh, Tamika all the time. Uh, her dad used to come up to the school. Yeah, yeah. Recording everything Johnny and Mac, shit. Yeah, yeah he used to come. Mac, man. man, that's one supportive ass daddy. He was about the only daddy to show up. <laughs> and when he showed up, he showed out. He recording shit. He doing all the stuff a dad's supposed yes, to he, do. Yes, he did. Man, for sure. Um, all right. 
Um, Full Road. Yeah. Kane to Mitchell. Yes, um, sir. So, look, we know a lot of the um, shit. We know down to everybody. We came up similar people. So, um, sports. Um, definitely was basketball. And um, who put me on playing basketball was OG Boo Dirty Lance Taylor. For real? I swear. How the fuck, Boo? <laughs> like, bruh, I had on some... <laughs> Cause I was kicking with Lance a lot, man. Not just, you know, every time we just see each other, we a joke. That might say, man, you need to play basketball, man. Just, just come what, to the what, what grade? Oh, what grade was this? Um, I think it was like seven to eight grade. Yeah. And he was like, man, just come up to the community center. I had some of these uh lug shoes, some black and gold lug shoes, no hooping shoes. I was up in that joint just trying to hoop. And ever since then, you know. I got better and better, but see, when I started watching you charge at the Carlo, yeah, I started, you know, hooping against y'all. Then you got Rob P, yeah. definitely main main. I just seen and, Rob, by the way. You know, you got main main them. I'm watching y'all going at it, and I just took it on from there. You know, Coach Patterson them, and then uh, definitely shout out to Coach Mac. You know, and you know, I just got into uh, basketball. Shout out to Lance Taylor, man, and uh, you boo, know. Boo. <laughs> <laughs>